She is known for her groundbreaking research in female reproductive biology and the regulation of hormonal signaling pathways, including the discovery of the signaling hormone in Hibben. She is recognized as an active feminist advocate for women in science, co-founding the Association for Women in Science and the Women in Endocrinology Group. Her name is Nina Betty Schwartz. In the annals of scientific history, one name shines brightly, Nina Betty Schwartz, an American endocrinologist whose groundbreaking discoveries revolutionized the field of female reproductive biology. Born in the United States, Schwartz's passion for science led her to become a renowned researcher in the Department of Neurobiology at Northwestern University. With her relentless dedication, she uncovered the secrets of hormonal signaling pathways, particularly her discovery of the signaling hormone inhibin. Schwartz's contributions extended beyond her scientific achievements. Throughout her career, she championed the cause of women in science as an active feminist advocate. In 1971, she played a pivotal role in founding the Association for Women in Science, an organization dedicated to promoting equal opportunities for women in scientific fields. Alongside Judith Poole, Schwartz served as the founding president, paving the way for the advancement of women in the scientific community. Not only did Schwartz make significant contributions as a researcher and advocate, but she also excelled as a mentor for women scientists. Her exceptional mentorship led her to co-found the Women in Endocrinology Group under the Endocrine Society's umbrella. Additionally, she served as the president of both the Endocrine Society and the Society for the Study of Reproduction, further solidifying her impact in the field. In 2010, Schwartz published a memoir titled, A Lab of My Own, where she fearlessly shared her personal journey and publicly came out as a lesbian. Her bravery and openness continue to inspire scientists around the world, reminding us of the importance of diversity and inclusivity in the scientific community. Nina Betty Schwartz's life and work serve as a testament to the incredible achievements that can be accomplished through scientific inquiry. Her dedication to advancing women in science and her groundbreaking discoveries in reproductive biology have forever shaped the field. Schwartz's legacy will continue to inspire future generations of scientists to push boundaries and strive for excellence. In the 1970s, Nina Schwartz became actively involved in the feminist movement, driven by her frustration with the lack of opportunities for women in science. Alongside other women scientists, she founded the Association for Women in Science AWS, during a gathering at a Federation of American Societies for Experimental Biology meeting. Schwartz played a crucial role as the founding co-president of AWS, focusing on executive duties while her colleague Judith Poole worked on fundraising. One of the notable achievements of AWIS was initiating a class action lawsuit against the National Institutes of Health NIH, due to the poor representation of women on NIH grant review committees. Schwartz, along with other representatives, including Robert Marston, the head of the NIH at the time, met to discuss the issue, and Marston committed to appointing more women, leading to the withdrawal of the lawsuit. Recognizing the lack of women's representation in the Endocrine Society's key organizing committees, Schwartz co-founded the Women in Endocrinology Society within the organization during the 1970s. Her dedication to the cause was further demonstrated when she served as the president of the group from 1990 to 1992. In 1983, Schwartz was one of 40 women in non-traditional professions interviewed for Michelle Citrin's film, What You Take For Granted. The documentary aimed to shed light on the experiences of women like Schwartz and highlight the challenges they faced in their respective fields. To raise visibility and share her experiences as a female scientist in the 20th century, Schwartz wrote her memoir, A Lab of My Own, in 2010. In her book, she candidly recounts her encounters with micro and macro aggressions throughout her career. From being asked to pour tea at her first job at the University of Illinois to her triumphs and struggles, Schwartz hopes to inspire and provide valuable lessons for future generations of scientists and global citizens. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.